Hello everyone, I am Arpit Kumar Sharma and welcome back to Pabli. So today I am going to tell you how you can add elemental form leads to your Salesforce as contacts. Now what will happen? And let me first tell you why would you need this automation. Suppose you are, uh, you know, having a form and you have that uh, uh, form as a survey form or as a product form or something like that, whatever it can be. Now, the details of those forms will be saved into your Salesforce account where it will create an automatic new contact. Now that contact or I should say those contacts will be saved in your Salesforce account and you can use those contacts as new leads and also you can use them to contact the customers or to contact the people who you know filled your form previously. Now to do this automation we are going to use an integration and automation service Pabli Connect which will help you connect Elementor and Salesforce together so that whenever a new form submission is done in Elementor, those details will be saved into your Salesforce account as a new contact. Now, if you want to learn this automation, you have to come with me to the screen. And now we are on our screen. So what we have to do, we have to go to the address bar and type in pabbly pabbly.com slash connect. And as soon as you will press enter, you will be redirected to this web page. Now here you have two options. Either you can sign in or you can sign up. Now signing up is absolutely free and it will also give you 100 free tasks every month from our side so that you can practice the workflows that we are teaching you. Now, I already have an account here, so I will just go for sign in and then I will click on access now for Pabli Connect. Now here, you have to create a new automation and to create a new automation, you have to click on create workflow. So what we are doing here, we are connecting Elementor to Salesforce. Okay, so I'm naming this Elementor to Salesforce. If you want to name it, uh, you know, and another uh, name, <laughs> I, I should have said if you want to give it an another name, you can give it. So now <laughs> let's just let's just create it. Now here you can see you have two windows a trigger and action. Now trigger is the window where an event is happening at the start of the process. And action is the window where the final event is happening at the end of the process. So trigger is when this is happening action is do this. So what is happening here? we are having a form submission in our Elementor forms. So what you will do, go to event and you have a trigger event here, new form submission. Now we are going to connect our Elementor form with our Pebbly connect by using this webhook URL. Okay. So what we will do, we will copy this webhook URL and now I will go to WordPress. Now here you can see I have many pages. But just to explain you, I am just going to Elementor. Now, if you have Elementor in your website, it is very good. If you do not have it, you have to purchase it. Now, what we will do, we will create a new page. I already have some pages, but I am doing it for you so that you can learn how to do it. So we will go and select edit with Elementor. And now you can see that I have an Elementor uh, you know dashboard here now what I will do I will just choose a template for form and now I will edit this let me just delete this one and now I will edit this so <coughs> I have name email and message now what I want is name email I want a contact number as well so I'll just go here I'll select number and I'll name it contact number Okay, now name, email, contact number. I also want uh, a contact number, name, email. What else do you want? Because uh, first name and last name. Yeah, because Salesforce takes first name and last name. So we are going to rename this as first name. And then I am going to rename this as last name. So as you can see, first name, last name, email, contact number. I will just rename this from message to description. And I will add one more item, which is 
company okay now <laughs> if you want you can add address address 1 address 2 company details you know home number work number business number etc etc but i don't think that a, a form should be that long so i am just keeping it simple so you can see i have first name last name email contact number company and description now what i can do is i can just go and publish it but before publishing what i have to do i have to connect my pebbly connect to my elementor forms so what i will do i will just copy this webhook url go here and you can see here i have an option of actions after submit now here it is written also go to your website and inside elementor edit the form you want to get integrated under actions after submit add webhook open the webhook toggle enter the webhook url you copied above save the page and go to the live version of the page so here we will go actions after submit i will delete this i will delete this and i will simply select webhook now here i will go for webhook and i will paste the webhook url i just copied from my pebbly connect account and as you can see i have done everything here so i'll just click on publish now you can see this is my published page name last name email contact number company and description and this is my form now what i am going to do i am going to take a webhook response here through my elementor so i'll go for my name which is arpit last name is sharma arpit sharma at the rate gmail.com contact number is a dummy number i'm using here 9876456375 okay let me just copy this just in case i will forget my dummy contact number and what is here company okay so company is let me write i am from pebbly connect so i'll just go for pebbly connect and description no wait a minute i'll just use my company and i will arpit sharma company and now i will use my company to buy the software hey i have been watching videos of pebbly connect integrations and i am interested in your plan please get to me asap which means as soon as possible okay <coughs> now what i am going to do is i am just going to click on send and as soon as i will click on send you can see the form was sent successfully and here in pebbly connect i have the response arpit sharma arpit sharma at the rate gmail.com this is my number this is the name of my company which i just wrote as a dummy name arpit sharma company this is the description i have given here this is my form id okay now what we want to do is we want to create a new a new contact in our uh, salesforce account so what we will do we will select salesforce from here and in action event we will go for create contact so a new contact will be created on the basis of these details okay now let us connect this add new connection and connect with salesforce now as soon as you will do that it will allow you for the access to your salesforce account and do not worry Pebbly Connect does not take any chances with your data and your data is absolutely safe. So as you can see, I already told you Salesforce takes the last name and first name and that is why I used the last name and first name in my form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a technique which is called mapping. Now mapping will let me take the data from this window and then it will let me put the data to this window here. So what I will do, I will just click here and through mapping i'll select my last name here i will select my first name other street and as i told you that in your form you can add whatever you want to add in your fields i did not add all these fields so i'm not going to map these fields here so we will leave this we will leave this as well we will leave this leave this leave this uh, leave this okay business phone I do not want to put in business phone. I want to put mobile phone. So I'll just go for my number as mobile phone. So this is my number. Now, 
email i have my i have my email here arpitsharma@gmail.com title i do not have anything in department i'll just go for my company arpit sharma company assistant's name no lead source no description so this is the description here i have been using videos of uh, pabli and after that <laughs> you can see it has written uh, uh, hey i have been uh, use, uh, watching videos of pabli connect integrations and i am interested in your plan uh, please get to me asap that's good now as soon as i will click on save and send test request a new contact you can see have been added a new contact has been added in my a uh, salesforce account so this is my salesforce account and when i will go and click on contacts you can see here is the new contact sharma arpit and when i will open it you can see arpit sharma arpit sharma company pabli connect description hey i have been watching videos of pabli connect integrations and i am interested in your uh, plan please get to me asap now let us try it one more time let me go back now you can see we do not have any other contact here let's go here let me type in a new name swati last name is sharma email is swati sharma at the rate gmail.com contact number is 9876677 whatever it is dummy number 9876756477 company swati sharma company and description hello sir i have been watching your videos on pebbly form builder and i am interested in the same please reply me back so that we can talk about it okay hello sir i have been watching your videos on pebbly form builder <coughs> pebbly form builder and i am interested in the same please reply me back so that we can talk about it okay so now as soon as i will click on send you can see the message has been sent successfully or i should say the form submission has been sent successfully and when i will go here you can see there is no contact by swati sharma now i will refresh it and you can see as soon as i refreshed i have a new contact with the name sharma swati and here you can see swati sharma swati sharma company pabli connect hello sir i have been watching your videos on pabli form builder and i am interested in the same please reply me back so that we can talk about it okay so this is how you can connect your elementor forms to your salesforce contact or i should say to your salesforce account so that whenever <coughs> a new form submission will be done in your elementor forms a new contact will automatically be created in your salesforce account and this is a very useful automation which will help you you know scale your business and if you want to use this beautiful workflow you just have to go to my description box and copy the link and clone the workflow in your account but for that you need to have your account on pabli connect and to do that you have to go and sign up signing up is absolutely free and it will also give you 100 free tasks every month from our side so what are you waiting for go and sign up now hasta la vista So thanks a lot for watching our video. I hope you understood everything. Now, if you want any other events to add it in our module, what you can do is you can mail us at admin at the rate pebbly dot com. If you have any queries regarding this software, you can just ask your queries at this website at this link. And if you want to check the prices, you can visit here to this link and check the prices of the software. Now, I just want to tell you that automate. is a boon for us and it can change the future and i will you know suggest you to take this as quickly as possible which will ease your task save your time and save you a lot and lot of efforts thank you